guys uh, in this video I wanted to talk about my experience in Vietnam so just um, a disclaimer it's my experience so so you don't have to think that's the general experience that you will get but but yeah and I'm going to talk both in Vietnamese and in English just to you know have fun I don't know I will always like translate interpret myself um, okay so let's get started xin chào mỗi người um, tam có muốn nói chuyện về về việt nam khi nào khi nào tam có tới việt nam tam có cảm thấy giống cảm thấy chút chút giống áp lực à, tại vì tại vì có nhiều người hỏi tam à, khi nào tam sẽ cưới khi nào tam lấy chồng khi nào tam lấy chồng ở việt nam tại vì tại vì tam có hai mươi tuổi hay là dạ hai mươi tuổi thì có thì có nhiều người hỏi tam khi nào lấy chồng có lấy chồng chưa có lấy chồng chưa so I was saying uh, in English um, so um, when I arrived in Vietnam I felt like some pressure because I felt that like so many people would ask me Um, when are you getting married? When are you going to, you know, have a husband and everything? And and they would ask me, and I was actually 20 years old in Vietnam um, when I was in Vietnam, and and I feel like yeah, a lot of pressure. Khi nào khi nào người hỏi khi nào tam lấy chồng hay là có có người yêu chưa hay là hay là có bạn trai chưa hay là không biết có, có thấy nhiều người hỏi về cái này thì cái này số một là chút chút ở ở nước ngoài cái này chút chút giống à, áp lực giống chút 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 mát là sự um, tại vì tại vì cái này là 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 giống hoàn trọng cho mình nhưng mà mình không muốn giống để mới người biết cái này giống là tuyển của mình thôi là personal so in English I would say that like those questions about marriage and and those questions about relationships and such were a little bit like to to um I don't know to uh you know like they were just like Like for me, at least for me, in my experience, that was a little bit like too, um, I don't know the word. I would say like, like a little bit about like gossiping, right? And and like, I, I felt like people were intruding my private life. Like, like, why would you like to know that? And it's none of your business. It's actually my personal life. But you're, you know, like strangers would ask me like, like, so do you have a boyfriend and did you get married already and blah, blah, and really insisting on the fact that, that I should get married also and that I should, you know, have a, have a husband really soon because I was like old and, and things like that. And they wouldn't understand that, that, I mean, at least where I come from, you know, in France, It's a little bit rude to pressure. I feel that way. I don't know. Um, and yeah. Um, so in Vietnamese now, let's continue. Thì khi nào có người hỏi hỏi um, hỏi um, à, lấy chồng chưa thì thì tâm cảm thấy giống giống khi nào có bạn trai hay là hay là bạn gái thì ở nước ngoài ở bên pháp mình không 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 nói chuyện về cưới uh, trước nhưng nhiều tháng nhiều tháng với với bạn trai hay là với bạn ấy um, cái này nghĩ là là khi nào khi nào mình đi chơi với bạn trai với với bạn gái uh, mình phải ở bên pháp mình phải đợi một thời gian cho quen cho quen nhau cho dung tin người 
cho không biết cảm thể thoải mái cho không biết cho quen người cho biết người là như thế nào thì cho nói chuyện về cưới thì mình sẽ yếu lâu lắm ở à, à Việt Nam mình chứ có có nghe có thấy có 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 bạn trai ở Việt Nam thì có chúng một tháng với bạn trai mình mình phải cưới rồi là mình nói chuyện về cưới mình nói chuyện về con không biết cái này giúp rất là lẹ lẹ lắm ở Việt Nam so in English I was saying that that when you actually um, have like someone in in um, in France uh, in I guess like in many other foreign countries right you want to like kind of like date someone and like wait a little bit so that you can talk about like the future but also get to know the person and kind of like trust the person I feel that way um, in my experience right um, I'm just talking about my personal experience so uh, feel free to comment like how you what you what you think about that and in how you've experienced like your relationship maybe if you want to share that um, with me but it's up to you and and yeah so I was saying that when when people like yeah date in France at least they wait like a long time I mean like until they feel comfortable until they feel that they can trust the person they maybe like stay like for years and years together and don't and still don't get married right they don't talk about marriage uh, they, they do talk about marriage but they don't they don't get married and and I feel like in Vietnam there was this pressure of like you know what I found you like you're my girlfriend or you're my boyfriend and and now let's get married like after not even one month or something I have experienced that um, because yeah I had like relationships in Vietnam and and yeah so I I feel that I was like too fast that I was like too too fast <laughs> but anyway yeah and so that's basically what I wanted to say um, like about like the culture shock like it's like one point I could like develop so many points uh, about like my experience in Vietnam but I feel that yeah that's like the main main point like that comes to my mind for the moment I will uh, surely make more videos about the topic comment below if you want me to talk about like yeah my experience in Vietnam a little bit more in details and and yeah what kind of things would you like to know uh tell me and and yeah i feel that that i don't know it feels good to share my experience with you um because there there's so much i i learned while in vietnam about myself but also about like yeah vietnamese culture and and i feel that i wish i had known how to kind of like protect myself emotionally speaking from like pressure or or the need to you know adapt to the culture sometimes you feel that you need to adapt to the culture when 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 it's against your your own values or your true uh, inner beliefs right and your like authentic beliefs i would say like for example in my case getting married like is is something really personal first you don't talk about that with like anyone and 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 you don't talk about it when when it's too soon that's it but that's my personal belief and you don't talk about about like getting married with a guy you just met like and that's what Vietnamese would do sometimes I would feel right not all the Vietnamese were like the same and stuff like that please don't you know don't um, uh, kind of like interpret what I say like and change the words but yeah so like most of them would like actually ask me the same question like when are you getting married and and some people 
were victims that I had just met. So I felt weird about that. I felt weird about that. And I'm going to, yeah, put some subtitles in this video. So to make sure <laughs> you put the subtitle. Usually I say that at the beginning, but I forgot. Anyway, so um, yeah, I, I hope this video helped you in some way or at least, you know, you got to know me a little bit more. I don't know. I like sharing my experiences. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's catch up in another video. Bye bye.